Hey everybody, here we are again. We're at the Hammond River. Uh, today we're going to go try to find uh, some lamper eels again. We tried last year, but we were here a little bit uh, too late and all we found was some dead ones. Uh, this year we had already tried, but uh, we were a little too early. So we're going to go in. We know that they're running right now. Uh, they should be uh, making their nests, so that would be really interesting if we could actually document that on film. Also, we know that the smallmouth bass are uh, nesting, so maybe we'll see some of those as well. We've already heard a couple of uh, splashes and seen some uh, fish jump. So one of the things that we'd like to uh, prove or disprove is just how aggressive lampreys are. And lampreys, they're not an actual eel. They're a uh, kind of ancient jawless fish. Uh, but they still freak people out and also we hear a lot of uh, like urban legends and stuff about uh, lamp reels attacking people or when the cows are walking across the river they'll come up on the other side with lampers all uh, hanging off their legs and even four wheelers going through uh, the lampers will stick to the tires so I'm curious to see if any of that's true I feel like they're not as aggressive as that uh, but we're gonna get in here and we're gonna see okay let's go So we found our first fishing hook. Uh, that was the longest amount of fishing line attached to a fishing lure I've ever seen. Uh, so I'm glad we got that out of the water. We've also seen some uh, perch, sucker fish, and uh, these silverfish. I'm not really sure what they are. They may be Gasparo. They must be up here too. They must be breeding as well. Uh, first catfish I've seen today.
That was really cool. That was the biggest American eel I have ever seen in any river. Uh, also, there was a second uh, catfish. So that was really neat to see. Uh, yeah, he was just sitting there. I thought it might have been a lamp wheel at first, but as soon as I got close, I could tell it's American eel. We like to call that a cowfish. It's uh, just a catfish that has the same color as a cow. What's right here? Hey. There's a lamp barrel right here, and I also found this. It came off your flipper. Oh. That came off your flipper when I was following you. Wow, that's really cool. So that's the uh, lamp reel. I touched it and it never became aggressive towards me. It just went away. So they're very fast. Yeah, that lamp reel, it kind of looked like it was dead, uh, but you could see it breathing. You could see its little gills moving. Uh, so I knew it was alive. They're really cool. They really stand out compared to uh, the rock, and I love their uh, pattern. They're a beautiful looking animal, actually. We had a very successful day. We saw one lamp reel. For a while there, I didn't know if we were actually gonna see any at all. Uh, it was kind of just laying there on the bottom and at first we thought it might've been dead. Uh, it wasn't until we got closer, you could see the gills moving and every once in a while it was doing this little bit of a twitching. Uh, I really like the color pattern on those lamp reels and I hope you guys are a little bit less scared about them because you could tell uh, 
that it wasn't being aggressive at all. It actually didn't make any movement at all until I uh, touched it and then it swam away. We also were able to see a large bass as well as a bunch of sucker fish and perch and what may have been either Gasparo or Shad and we saw probably a school of a hundred or so of those. Another interesting thing was seeing that largest American eel that I have ever seen in any river and a bunch of uh, catfish. And I really like seeing that uh, one cowfish, I like to call it, because it's got the same uh, color pattern as a cow. We were also uh, able to take out uh, quite a few uh, fishing hooks and got some fishing line out. So I'm really glad that me and Simon were able to go in and uh, clean up the river a little bit. I hope you guys found this video interesting and uh, you learned a little bit more about lamp reels if you've never seen one before. Uh, they're really nothing to be afraid of and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. So here's all the fishing lures and fishing line that we found today. Uh, some of them are in pretty good shape. This one here is a little pickerel and some bass lures. Uh, I'm really glad that we were able to uh, go and clean these out of the river today.